We have been working with epoxy and silicone to seal the deck in a never-ending battle to fight off moisture. School has ended for the teachers and students, so the holiday is just beginning. For Robbie and I, our cruising life is resuming. We're heading out of Zabalos to finish circumnavigating Vancouver Island. The north of the island seems like a vast open mystery to us. Will it be as treacherous as some people think? Had some leftover epoxy, so we started filling it because there's a lot to fill in here. There's plenty. There's tons and tons of room to fill in with epoxy, so. I also installed my reels on it. One's gonna be here, a piece of wood, and one's gonna be on the other side. Yeah, the more coats of paint we put on it, the more watertight it gets. At the end of the school year, some of the kids at the school where I work were graduating. Robbie got into the food preparation end of things, of course. All the while, we continued on projects to make the boat feel more like home. A little sanding and teak oil goes a long way in making a small space feel clean and comfortable. And it's the small details that count, I think. Sealing the deck was a cathartic task. We were elated to have friends on the boat to celebrate the end of the teaching year and the start of summer sailing. So this is a quick job. That's a going in with the rest. What do you do with the head? I'll show you now but not one in a hurry. Mm. That can just be slapped on the grill the way it is. Scales down and then you just peel the meat off the front. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is! Oh. Oh. 
Good job, Eagle. With that. The other you know the. He just stole her carcass. You want to watch? A chili curry and two blends. Like specialty barbecue hats. You guys, you guys feel extra hairiness on the burger? Ah, uh, gross, Riley. Father and the one kid. With the final installation of the sliding hatch cover, we were almost ready to cast off. Ravi, you have no more beard. Yeah, it's gone. What happened? Between the flaming barbecue, a woof, and half my beard was gone, so I shaved it all. That's what happens when you use a defective barbecue. <laughs> I had one last school trip with the kids, and we broke down at the side of a logging road on our way out camping. The trip was a good end to the teaching year, though filled with lots of animals. Unused fittings from the deck to stop leaking. We filled it in with epoxy filler, and in the case of some bigger holes, like this manual bilge pump that wasn't working, we filled it in with wood and fiberglass. Then we moved all our worldly belongings down to the boat with the help of our friends. Is it a so bros? the bros who just moved everything. One and a half ton of it's crap. gonna want Robinson to leave. Yeah. And we gotta fit it all in. It's okay. Let's play a game of Tetris. I started hearing kids talking about candied salmon and Patricia made us a batch of it. She started by putting it in a semi-sweet and salty marinade and then put it in the smoker and every hour for 11 hours marinated it with, um, with a, a maple syrup glaze. Wine, molasses and something else. It's 
then dinner, dessert, breakfast, and lunch so far. Our first stop was Esperanza, a nearby community filled with friendly folks who kindly let us use their wood shop to start building our wind vane. This is the base, this is the, the one where you change the direction of the, of the wind vane. This is where the rope fits the groove and the rope fits around here and it's held here and when you pull it it, just, it turns the whole the whole base so, it, um, so you angle it towards the wind or not. Without much wind at all, we said goodbye to our familiar sailing grounds and we were on our way to Cayuca. <laughs> We found this area to be really interesting, a community of small little islands everywhere, connected by water, every business and every house almost, with a dock out in front. Kids were going around from house to house by kayak, and we traveled through small trails behind the houses, and we heard people calling their kids home for dinner on Channel 14. The next day offered us some pretty miserable weather, but we made some good miles towards the Brooks Peninsula. <laughs> Beautiful weather. Yeah, this is saying nicely, torpedoing along to our destination, dodging rocks. Let's we'll see. Hopefully, it gets better. It's really windy out there. Do another look. Woo! 
Let's go in from left to right. 